Welcome to Biology Access. In today's class, I'll be continuing our invertebrate series in Nigeria. If you know you are new to this channel, please kindly press the subscribe button and put on your notification button so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. The class in Nigeria comprises of more than 9,000 species of invertebrates. Their nomenclature, their name is actually derived from the fact that they possess nida or nematocyst, which is actually produced by the snidos or nidocytes, which are cells that actually produce this stinging organelle. The nematocytes, as we know it, have two body forms. But before we go into that, what are the examples of uh, the, uh, the Nidarians? We have the Hydra, which is the most common example. We have the jellyfish, Portuguese man of war, and other examples being displays on the board. Be displayed on the board. What are their characteristics? They are actually radially or biradially symmetrical. We know that they are actually marine, they are majorly marine organisms with few freshwater species. Their basic body form, they possess two basic body, body forms, which is the polyp form or the medusa form. Both uh, forms are actually being displayed on the board, and we know that their body is made up of two layers, which is the epidermis and the uh, endodermis. The inner layer, uh, the outer layer is always regarded as what the epidermis, while the inner layer uh, is always regarded as what the, the endodermis. But the various sometimes terminologies may differ. We know that the their exoskeleton or their endoskeleton may be made up of the, the carcerous material, may be made up of a proteinous material, in some cases, chitinous material. These organisms actually possess one opening to the external environment, in which case we call incomplete digestive system, where they have only one opening, which is used for both injection and ejection. They have a gastrovascular cavity which the mouth actually leads to, as you can see from the diagram being displayed on the board. Their muscular system is actually primitive, though they have a muscular system. These organisms are actually at the tissue level of organization, though some text is talking about their organ, organ level of organization, but they entirely lack the system uh, level of organization. Reproduction in these organisms may be sexual or may be asexual. In sexual reproduction, they produce garments, while in asexual reproduction, they may, they may reproduce by, through the process of boarding. We know that they possess this nematocyst, which is a stinging organ which they use for attack, in some cases, defense. And the tentacles which they possess, which guide their mouth, or the oral cavity, or the opening to the entire environment, actually help them to capture their prey. In Nidarians, they have what we call the dimorphism or in some cases they will tell you polymorphism now the two basic forms in nigeria are the polyp form as we have noted before and the medusa form the polyp form as we know can reproduce through body the diagram of the polyp form is being displayed on the board and you can see that it comprises is a tubular organism that have the tentacle at the uh, oral side at the upper side now, this uh, oral cavity leads towards the gastrovascular cavity, and they are actually attached to the substrate on through a base. The, this polyp form, as you can see, is or they reproduce through a process called the body. They have other process, sometimes fibrillation and all that, and they can give rise to other polyps, or in some cases, they can give rise towards the medulla through the asexual uh, reproductive or method. The medusa, as you can see from the diagram being displayed on the board, is like an it's like an umbrella or it's like an inverted poly. If you take a look at the poly, just make it wider and invert it, turn it upside down, and you realize that you are having a kind of a medusa form. The medusa form actually reproduce also like the polyp form, and they possesses tentacle, as you can see. Their shape, you can see that it's like an umbrella shape. 
And most of the function or the fixtures in the polyp is also present in the medulla form. What are the classification of the cla of the phylum Cnidaria? Classification of the phylum Cnidaria. They are classified into the following classes. As you can see, we have the hydrozoa, we have the scyphozoa, we have the cubozoa, we have the anthozoa. Anthozoa is actually the largest class of the phylum Cnidaria, possessing numerous organism and even subphylum all right take note that the medusa produced by the scyphozoa is called the scyphomedusa why the one produced by the hydrozoa is called what? the hydromedusa as you can see the, the word hydra means water serpent and zoa means animal example of the hydrozoa is being displayed on the board we have example is actually what the hydra you have the tubularia and all that why example of the scyphozoa is being displayed on the board we have the we have the rhizostome, we have others. The cubozoa, which the cubos means cube and zoa animals, it means their, um, their shape is like a cube. And the example is being displayed on the board. In, sub in my subsequent video, I'll be making a separate video on each of these classes and describing certain organism or a representative organism in each classes. Thank you very much. Please subscribe to, subscribe to support this channel. Thank you very much.